<laughs> we got a den denial of service. <laughs> All right, cool. So you know what? It might be. The, it might have been that I was playing the Steam version right there. At least when I'm playing it here, um, with this in, in, in debug mode, it will. Um, Um, what was I trying to say? I can fix it. If there is a bug, I can fix it. So let me just make sure. Okay, it's not skip menu. Full HUD. Initial, no, no initial hit points. Not invincible. Is it working now? Cool. All right. Okay, it looks like it's working on my end too. <laughs> try number, what is this, try number four? Glad I'm not releasing this alpha version. Oh no, yeah, Lime Studios, you can't paste anything. Yeah. No pasting. You got you gotta use like your controller. Okay, good. So let's try this again. Permadeath mode. Um what should we try now? Banana? Was that was it banana that was the one? We're doing banana. Banana, banana, banana. Yeah, arcane, exactly right. Yeah, you can't, you can't type with the keyboard. You, you only use your whatever keys have been bound to your controller. Hey, check it out! Look at this. <laughs> it looks like. None of this is messed up. I'm very tentative. Okay, let's see if we can get the sword. The seed this time is banana. Banana it was the backup seed from last time we were talking about it. Okay, I'm still tentative because I hope it doesn't break when I go outside this cave. Okay, cool. I think we're good to go. Cactuses already! Bam! We already got the teleport cube. We'll use that when we want to. Wizard! Oh, that's a good one. We've got to do wizard some, one of these days. Found one store. Okay, let's see what we can got we got with um so we've explored these areas so far. Looking for the dungeon. Trying not to die. I think it wasn't I don't think it was OMG LOL or any of those seeds. It was Um I think it was the the Steam version. Something got messed up either when it uploaded or or just it probably more likely it revealed that there was a bug. Ooh, here's another shop where we can get the gyp stash. Too bad I don't have any cash yet. I got one diamond, two cactuses. What do you think we have more cactuses in this game?
So I'm invincible right now. Oh my god, this guy has so much health. Yeah, it might have been that it uploaded an old build. Oh, refill. Very cool. If I had um if I had low health, I would be able to refill my health here. I bet you anything there's a place to bomb right on this level, but I don't have any bombs yet. You can find a lot of diamonds inside those bomb areas. And you can cheat. You can keep going back in and getting more. As of right now. Oh, nice. Here it is. Level one. Okay, here's coming up some new music. It's kind of quiet. I, I think it should be about loud enough on the stream, though. So let me know if it's too quiet. Whoops. I just ate one of my cactuses. I didn't really need to. Red door there. Note to self, red door in the, in the bowler left corner. We got an item here. Oh, I'm getting worked. Worked by blobs. New sound effect for pillars. Red password. And you can tell when the uh, when these item chest pillar thingies get used up, they don't have any lights on anymore, so it's a little more intuitive. Uh, Marza, no, you cannot fall yet, but that's planned. Yeah, I do want to add the, the feature so you can fall off the edge. I had, there's like at least 50 more things I wish I could put into this alpha build, but this is the best it's going to get. In the time I have today. Whoa! Alright, so far I'm doing pretty good. I haven't really gotten hurt that much. There's been plenty of health to recharge with. Yeah, I didn't even get hit right there. Thanks, Lime Studios. Appreciate that, man. Rest in peach. We got an item here. I hope this is the hat. Yeah, the hat. Oh! I renamed these the homing drones. Yeah, I know. Some vacation? Yeah. I'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight. So yeah, I renamed these homing drones. So the homing drones actually fit inside your hat. And that's what allows you to throw the hat and it comes back to you because you got these drones inside it. Rest in peace again. Oh, it's alive for you? Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. So it looks like we're just having a little glitch there with, whoops, <laughs> using up my, oh yeah, good time to fight while I'm invincible. I think that sound effect ended really, really quickly there. <laughs> Was it Coolio? Oh, blue password, missing text.
Okay. Banana worked. It might, it might have been banana. It might have been that I stopped running it from the Steam application. It might have had an old build or... Oh, man. <laughs> I'm just using up all my... All my cactuses. Oh, hum, biodetector. <laughs> Detect this. <laughs> the text did, man. Alright. That makes sense. There's the, the boss right there. It might be a little LP. It might be. Oh, man. This is the kind of area that'd be really good to have cactuses in. It's my first time really fighting a spider and getting surprised by a, a spider sack. Yeah, I think I'm getting maybe too many cactuses actually dropped. That's that's what um that's what's making it a bit easy. Like how many? I have six cactuses I could use right now, and I could be invincible for those whole seven seconds. That's quite a lot of time to actually be invincible and all that. All right, got a bomb container. All right, Marza. See you next time, man. Good night. So right now this door is closed. Cannot get through. Oh no, that was something unexpected. I never, I never thought that someone might be coming inside this room from above. So I never tested, never tested that look of that. Wow, 65 inch screen, crazy. Cool, man. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how it plays. All right, we've activated the switch. Banana forever. Yeah, if you get in trouble, just use a banana world code. You'll be fine. So yeah, that kind of looks weird, right? Going this from this screen to that screen and it like, I'll have to think of something for that. World banana has a switch from above. Okay, I'll be fixing that later on. Taking notes as I go because I'm I'm sleepy today, so I don't really want to forget anything. Okay, how do we do on this level? We got most of this level explored. There's a couple more rooms I can hit up. We've been playing for 10 minutes, or 11 minutes. I got cactuses, my teleport cube. Let's make sure I can't use the teleport cube. Yeah, I, I shouldn't be able to use the teleport cube here. All right, I was seeing if there was a secret over here. Guess not. All right, let's fight this boss. Let's see if we can beat him in permadeath mode. I'm thinking cactuses. So the the sound effect is definitely cutting out for cactuses. It's weird. Yeah, man, it makes fighting the boss really easy having a lot of cactuses around. I guess that's probably you know, 
I guess it depends on how many cactuses you have. Cool. Alright. What do we find? The blink orb. Teleport forward a few steps. I wonder if that thing works. Oh, I gotta write that. Write the code for the blink orb. Write this down. Okay. I know there's a lot of gore on the screen, right? I don't even like gore. Alright, there you have it. It was not that difficult to play in permadeath mode. How long did that take? 14 minutes. Uh, Erkmilla, I don't know. I've never used F SFML, so I don't know. I don't know how it does with, um... Shaders, you know what I mean? Shaders are the real magic of this, of making this game look good. So, if SFML works with shaders, then I guess it wouldn't be that hard. I don't know. I've never used SFML, so I don't know. Check it out, I just killed all those guys and it wasn't even hard. That, that big old thing in the middle of the screen really helped to fight them. Let's see what else we can find in this world. Banana. We'll go up. Oh, what if there's a bomb right here? Let's find some places, some secrets. Uh, nothing here. Nothing there. Nothing there. What's up, baby? Go to dinner? Oh, wow. What type of algorithm am I using to procedurally create these levels? Um, I'll show you a link to it in a second. Yeah. Actually, if you search for it for right now, you can look for uh, Meta Zelda and you'll start finding some algorithms. Meta Zelda, M E T A. Zelda. I bet you there's some of the bomb right there. Nope. Oh man, I could have sworn. Having four hearts is nice. You can fight harder enemies. Yeah. 
Nothing? No love? Oh man, my luck, my luck has run dry. Yeah, Proton, there is, um, I added some background music for the level, and I haven't added any background music for the overworld, except for the first song that plays, which happens when you first play the game. So yeah, I need to add a lot more music for sure. So, hey, look at that. I played through and did not even die. That's pretty cool. So, all right, um, I'm going to save and quit. And yeah, I guess I'll start making, fixing some bugs. That was good. That probably kind of confirmed that everything is on the right track. All right. Permadeath mode didn't erase its positions and all that. Blue passwords missing text. That's a really easy one to fix. Oh wait, wait. I gotta switch my setup back to dev mode. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, I just played through. I did a playthrough of Songbringer and um, yeah, everything looked good actually, except for <laughs> all those bugs we were having before to get this all started. This is probably the biggest bug is this whole issue from running it from Steam and it all of the backgrounds had were messed up. The whole world was like spaghetti. So I'm gonna take a quick break. I'll get back and um, get to some of these bugs. here yeah yep it, it's good memory man yeah um i decided when i was playing when i was watching my friend play he was um you know like really new to he was really new to it all he never played a game before so it really helped to watch him and he was just getting he was getting worked so what I did is I added about three screens per um, per overworld that are corridors. They have no enemies. So let's look at the map and you can see what it did. Yeah, so this world had two corridors. There's one corridor here in the bottom left. for banana. This is Banana Mega Seed. And yeah, there's this corridor here and a corridor here. So it put... um. Yeah, it put those two rooms where there were no enemies. So yeah, I did feel like there was a little less enemies. And there's also a few less enemies per screen. There might have been too many less, actually. Yeah, I'm going to actually increase... Slightly increase the amount of foes. All right, so I'm just re I reordered some of these, so do the easy ones first. The blue password is missing its text. That could be a couple things. This function here in gear component gets the item key. There it is. Or I just missed it. There it is. Items not equal to none. It looks through the items for. The given item type. If it finds it, it returns its key. And this is used to look up its text key.
Yeah. No, I'm not gonna be able to fix all these things by tonight. Um, but I will be able to fix a few. Um, I hope I can fix these, like, six out of, you know, maybe two-thirds of these or something like that. And that'll be good enough for now, you know. All this stuff is just stuff I've, I really want to do, but it's going to take... This could take a month just to do, like, just to do all this stuff. So... I think it's key. Oh yeah, here. I see what's up already. This is supposed to be one two, not two one. Okay, so let's put the player back at that point where we picked up this key. And I'll test and see if that works now to have the text for this this key show up correctly. This was, I think it was a hidden... It might have been that one or that one. No. It was either this one or this one. Oh, it was this one, of course, so the second key. So yeah, I'll go one, one, one position. So I'm going to rewrite one, one, one. And I'll take away the key so we can give it back to the player. Zero item key one, two, zero. Banana, banana. Oh man, I'm in the wrong room. That wasn't the key. I feel cheated. It says that's the two. One, one, one. Hey, thanks for following. Okay, let's just try zero one one. That doesn't make any logical sense. That's the only other one that has a, a two. Okay, let's skip the settings or the, the skip the menu. Here's the spider room. What item does this have? Bomb container one, that's right. I swear it was one, one, one. There, it says I have key, it says key one, tw one, two now. Oh. Oh, I think I know what it might be. I might have actually just bugged out the text on it. Yeah, right here. I needed to change this one too. Okay. Duh. All this to fix one item, one bug.
No. Wrong text again. Just take that to one. There we go. Key one one plus I minus key one one mod KNM key types. Yeah, this supposed to be zero to three, not one to four. Okay. Try it again. I'm not as fast of a bug fixer when I'm a little bit tired. And I always get, seem to get tired around releasing alpha versions and preview builds and stuff like that. So it just takes a lot of time. A lot of time and that time and energy takes away energy. Oh, I feel like an idiot now. All right, I guess we'll have to set a break point. Okay, we've got I, the actual item is key one, two. After this, I is key one, two. Return value of that is item dash key one two. Text key. Is it, did we just forget? Oh man, look at this. It doesn't have this. It doesn't have this one entry here for key one two. All right, well, at least it wasn't the code's fault. All right, see ya. Thanks, Momir. Good night, Alex Pita. Yeah, finally. Finally. Okay, that's one to cross off. Bam. One down. Six to go. A plist is a property list. It's an XML file that can be viewed as a, as a list of items that you can change like this. Here's uh, the root. Here's some attributes. Each one of these can be like a string, a number, a date, a data, a boolean, array, or a dictionary. And then, you know, dictionaries can be full of other items inside them. So, for example, you know, this animations dictionary has a breadth dictionary, which has a delay string, a format string, and a frame count number. That's what a plist is. It's just a file. It's just data. Okay, the, ca the cactus sound really cut out early. We're going to see if the actual sound effect got cut out early. Wow, really? That's awesome. Did you try it out with um, more than one person? Or more than one stream? 
All right, so that would be an assets sounds. I think it's called psychedelic. Oh, that's nice and long. Uh, Pui, yes, it is intended. That's um, that's what happens to give you the connection, a feeling of connection. So there's a slight delay in the game. It's a the game actually sleeps for a whole like twenty to fifty milliseconds, kind of randomly. And um, when you're, it might seem weird when you're watching it live, but when you're playing it, it feels right. You know what I mean? Like you feel like you're really connecting with enemies, and it's a, it's pretty solid. It gives you that feeling that it's solid. You know. What's up, Gabundan? Ah. Uh, what's up, Gladiar? I had, for you guys that just joined, I did a playthrough of Songbringer a few minutes ago. And now I'm um now I'm I'm fixing up some bugs. For example, the cactus sound really cut out early. So it's part of rock stop key list where I think it's called eat or psychedelic, one of those. Yeah, play sound, eat. How did I miss that? Eat, eat, eat. Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's just eat.wave. Here's psychedelic wave. Okay, this is played. Oh, I see. It's played directly. Huh. It shouldn't be cutting out then. That's weird. Let me try running it again. Uh, Urkmilla, I don't know. I don't think Capilus can be Jason. Oh, I need some cacti. Ride zero, I am cactus. 16 cacti. Hmm. Okay, that sounded fine. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. That's a if that is a bug, then it's a really hard to catch one. So I'm just gonna cut it off the list for now. All right, permadeath didn't erase positions time. This is a really important one. This is one where I wish I could. Um. I wish I could just restore my settings really quickly, like restore my save game. So uh, it's on my list to, to actually use XML instead of user defaults for saving games. Then I could just easily restore my save game. But let's see if I can catch the bug before it actually happens. So when you die, you get this flux death. And when it's done, it calls game array save game.
And it seemed that when I ran in permadeath mode, it didn't erase position, positions, time, none of those. All right, well, let's, I guess we got to step in and see what happens. We should erase all this stuff just fine. So I should be in permanent mode. I'm going to die. Okay, so yeah, it got to this erase save game. I'll step in. Hey, thanks, Pooey. Peewee. Appreciate it, man. Okay, let's take a look at the settings right now. So I'm bringing a read. R -r read. All right, see you, Lime Studios. Uh, Eric Miller, very hard. Yeah, I think it would probably add about a year. Literally, I've written multi real-time multiplayer games before, and I speak from experience. You think it's just easy to slap in some networking libraries, but it's not. It's actually very, very difficult to create a real-time multiplayer game. It changes the entire way you have to write your engine. It changes the way you have to think about everything. It changes the way you have to keep things in sync, especially. Keeping, thing keeping two clients in perfect sync is one of the hardest things to do in game development. I challenge anyone to think of something harder in game development than that. All right, so we've got uh, Megacy, Banana, Mode, Permadeath, Position, Positions. We've got all this save data. Go back to here. It should be able to loop through each one of these. Look into the... Go in, step inside this method. We've got a make save game key. We'll return from this. We've got zero item A, which is currently sword. So we're going to erase that one. Let's see what the save game index is. Save game index is zero. That's appropriate. That's the first save game slot. The key is item A. That's also fine. So it sets it and then it flushes. So now we should no longer have item A. Good, it's erased. I wonder what happened that first time. Okay, I'm going to run it to here now. Now we should have erased all those. We just have some items. Oh, I think I know. Oh, I think I just realized what might be happening. I'm going to set a breakpoint if it ever calls save game. Nope, it didn't call save game. Okay, let's go. I'm going to start creating a new... New, also permadeath.
So far the settings are fine. Here we have save game about to be called. Yeah, it really is, man. It's my favorite ID I've ever used. So we've grabbed we've grabbed the gear component for the player and we've got nothing good. We've got nothing equipped. Nothing ready. Nothing crafting. Now we've made a copy of the has array and we should have at least a teleport. Yeah, so we got item teleport cube. Settings are still good. Save map positions. Now this could be something that could cause a bug actually. What do we got for positions then? SS string. Let's step into this method. We've got val. Ah, see here is the problem. It's saving all of these positions as if we've already been there. So when there's flux death, area clear scene, this needs to remove all the map positions. I think that ought to do it. Um, but also, we need to keep stepping through this and see if there's anything else. Yeah, it's hot here too. But I, did, I have heard it has been really hot there. Ah, what's playtime? Yeah, see, playtime has also got a value, so we need to clear that. Whenever we erase a save game, there, now let's see if it created any secrets either. No. Okay, so what it did is it created a... It didn't save the position, though. But let's see what happens when I start the game now. Yeah, it put me right back at this spot. Even though... 0p... Wonder why it put me there. Okay, so this time when it started, it put me back. So it had to have been some kind of variable. I think it's called world. Worlds um, set valid player position.
Oh, we've got world pause, that's right. So when we go and create a new world, ah, we never, we never cleared the world pause. Okay, a better way to clear it would be to set it to the home pause. World.pause equals world.home pause. Alright, so we should still be in permadeath mode. And this time, when I die in permadeath mode, it should clear out my save game completely. Got somber to read. Looks good. Looks totally empty. All right. So we start a new game over the top of that other one. Oh, good. Now this time we don't have those those other settings we had accidentally saved in. Hopefully it puts me back at zero. Or the start. Yes! Awesome! That's good to see. Okay, I think we fixed that bug. That's two bugs down. Nice. Now that I've gone through that room, save my positions, the mega seed. All right. the teleporter yeah corruptor yes it creates a random world using a six letter string nice orchid man oh hey here's an enemy that would explain why I can't use the teleport yay now I can use a teleport okay it's cool to find what you thought was a bug is not a bug realize one more thing that would be nice ensure that the preview world has one 
item combo pos possible possible permadeath mode is fixed yay Nice. Glad you like the posters. Yeah, that was a that was somebody's idea on the stream. I forget who who mentioned it. Okay, cool. So next bug. Next up is what? I might have to get going. Yeah, yeah, you should, man. I think you should. MacBooks are great. I could write the code for the Blink Orb really quick. Let's see that. Blink Orb is a lot like the regular, uh, the Fire Orb. It's in system. I would you create a new use item. Here's the Fire Orb. Call it use item blink. This adds some glow. This animates the departure. But I don't want to turn I want the player to turn into fire. I guess that means I don't want him to do any of this stuff. Alright, we'll just comment this out. Make just the player teleport forward only. I guess it can play the same fire blink sound for now. Teleport forward. Set visible false, you arrive. When you arrive, you should set set visible true though. Hmm, I wonder if that does that. All right, I think that should do it. They'll just teleport instead of animating the teleport. Yeah, it's yeah, it's 308 million worlds to the 26 to the 6. Exactly. Yes. Good math, corruptor. There's no there's never any two letters reserved for anything. It's just that yeah, there are some items on the uh on the Kickstarter or whatever that will have guaranteed a certain two letters in them. So it doesn't limit the possibilities of the world or anything. Uh, Urkmilla, no, I did not. I rewrote, I redesigned it for my own game. It doesn't make the distinction between uh, keys and switches, and it also is a lot more custom built for Songbringer. But yeah, MetaZelda is what inspired me to create a better procedural lock and key puzzle generation. So the article I was talking about, sorry about uh, not posting it earlier, but here is the actual article I was talking about. I used this one to write something pretty similar and you can see I wrote it all on this one day. Um, YouTube, I'll not upload YouTube, my videos. I think it's dungeon, something, something with the word dungeon in it. Here it is, Dungeon Generator.
Here's that link. If you want to check it out. The terminal thing for adding enemies? What are you talking about? Uh, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. Are you talking about this? This is just a command. I just wrote a shortcut command. See this? It just runs defaults, the defaults command with com.wizardfoo.songbringer. It's a script. Just a script that's shorthand for running the defaults command. Nothing special. It's just that the game loads the settings and does that. So actually we need to give the player the blink. Let's see if it worked. So, if this works, then the player will be able to teleport even with a, a, a blink orb alone. Oh yeah, no, nothing more. That's all it is. Okay, no, it's not working. Oh, I forgot to hook it up. Okay, so we need to go and put this in the map of items that can be used. So we've got item like fire orb, item blink, use item blink. So the player won't be able to use the fire yet, but at least they'll be able to use the blink. And if they get the blink in the fire, they can combine that into the fire teleport. <laughs> it's kind of cool, actually. Even though there's no animation. <laughs> That's crazy. I wonder what this add glow did, though. Oh, I remember. Yeah, it adds a, like a sprite. Let's keep the glow. This is totally interdimensional, right? No animation whatsoever. So we'll just get whatever the current animation is. We'll add some glow like that. This is a simplified version of the other animation. This might add a little bit of animation to this effect. Give it some, I don't know, it might be cool to just leave it alone with this interdimensional style. It's kind of cool. Uh, C++, TJ. Ah, 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 ah. Look, he stayed there for a second. He keeps on looking? What's going on over there? Why does it last so long? Oh, probably because it runs the animation. Oh, yeah, it does. It runs the animation. Yeah, so this is not this is not really that friendly for this and for this guy. So, but this is good. I mean, at least we have the item hooked up. That's all I wanted. In fact, I'll cut all this code that was not needed right now. Just check in the bit the bare basics here. Ah uh, yeah, cool. This is what you this is what C looks like. 
some C++. All right, now I'm just going to verify that this still works fine. All right, works good. Good enough. I think I'm ready to check this in. Oh, game design or game programming? Well, you got some months to try it out, man. I, I would recommend playing with that as much as you possibly can. It'll really help you choose. I would go do some game tutorials with some kind of game maker, either like Game Maker or Unity or Unreal or something like that. Do some tutorials, get used to them, and then you're going to learn about game design and programming in the process. All right, so I'm going to check in what I got done so far. This is more than I expected. And uh, this is going to be it for today's stream. I got a lot of work ahead of me tonight. Um, yeah, I think I can probably get three more of these bugs fixed as well. So I'm going to check in my code, and that's it for today's stream. <clears throat> Get status looks good. Just make sure. That's right, we fixed the cyan keys. Fix permadeath saves. Added the item blink. All right. All right, Clone Geek, thank you, man. Thanks for saying thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks, Doc. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so anybody, for anybody else that's watching this, uh, I should mention I'm going to be on vacation for the next two weeks. So there's not going to be any live streams until, like, two Mondays from now or three, the third Monday from now or whatever. There's two, two weeks where I'm going to be gone. So, anyways... I'll be back then. Um, the alpha version is coming out tonight. I'm sending out emails to the backers that backed at $128 and above. You guys are going to be getting a Steam key you can use, which is going to give you permanent access to Songbringer alphas and betas. R2. Careful Moose. What's up, y'all? Okay, so yeah, I will be back in two weeks. Enjoy your time. Have a good summer, you guys.